What's going on guys? I'm bringing you an NCAA Football 13 video today and this time I'm coming with some complaints because I did not realize that there was some major major issues with Road to Glory. And I was reading from other directors about how when you try to play the game in Heisman difficulty or All-American difficulty that when you go into practice mode coach trust was all messed up because they wouldn't give you enough points for rewarding plays like touchdowns and they'd take way too many away for like a negative play and interception and you couldn't get anywhere and you would often lose your job and coach trust is how you advance up the depth chart and it's how you get new abilities like being able to flip the play at the line of scrimmage or the play call menu or calling an audible or having extra plays Oh, and here's an issue I came across that made defense very, very frustrating. In past games, L2 has always been the strafe button, and this year it is the reaction time, and so there's no way for you to strafe. How do you catch an interception? How do you square up to make a tackle? You have to put on auto strafe so the computer does it for you, which I don't like because I want to be in full control of my player. And in this game, there is no way for you to map the controls of the buttons to a different spot, and so there is no way for me to actually strafe. And so you can see there, I had no negative plays in practice. I gained 53 points, so it would have pretty much taken me about 20 of those same practices to get anywhere and to advance up the goals. I didn't get any interceptions or anything like that, no forced fumbles. And here, look at this. I had a fumble recovery. Tell me why I lost 148 points. I have no clue. I'm like, okay, maybe that's just messed up, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to have bad zone coverage to show you guys something. I purposely was soft on that guy so he could catch the ball. I lost 80 points. And now let's look back at the very first play I showed in this practice session. This is man coverage this time, and I get called for good man coverage. I get 7 points. Are you kidding me? It would take 12 good man coverages to make up for one bad zone coverage. And that's assuming I don't get any more bad zone or bad man coverages while I'm trying to make up for what I lost from one play. And I'm not sure why they changed anything from last year. I thought last year was fine. I didn't become a starter in any of my Road to Glories until like midway through my first season. Sure, it's maybe not totally realistic, but it is a video game. I mean, they made it too hard this year. That's what people are saying. It's There's no way to really climb the ladder when you're playing on Heisman difficulty unless you get lucky. Look here. I get a decent four-yard carry. It would take 1,000 of those carries for me to move up the charts with Monty Ball, the best player in this game, the best overall rated player. One bad tackle right there, tackle for loss. Not my fault at all. It was just bad blocking and I lost 20 points. Every time I can go negative too and it just screws you. I don't understand how this is in the game. I lose 20 points here. I honestly was not able to control my player for even a split second on that play. I had no control over the outcome and lost 20 points. That is unacceptable. And last year it was not like this at all and so I lost a lot of points here. Look at this. Coach feedback. Good job practicing you're in no danger of losing your starting position perhaps they just have that in there every time because I never lost my job last year look at that one practice I lose my starting job with the best player in NCAA football 13 and let me tell you something about sports you're not gonna lose your starting job because of one bad practice you're gonna lose your starting job because of a stretch of bad games and so that right there is a big issue in this game and I went to go change the difficulty go back in I went to third string Monty Ball one bad practice because I'm on Heisman difficulty the gameplay AI is very tough blocking was horrible it was bad Wisconsin has been known for one of the best offensive line producing schools in the entire nation and those guys are breaking off of blocks like crazy so maybe the gameplay was a little rough I put it down to All-American but the points were staying the exact same and it was still pretty rough I mean Wisconsin's a pretty good has a pretty good defense as well they're making good plays not letting me get very many yards and so I wasn't making any progress here although it did help me bump back up to zero it didn't want me to stay at negative it gave me basically a free pass and so I just wanted to see how much progress I could get in this one, but it wouldn't even let me go negative. So I couldn't really see my net gain or whatnot because it wouldn't let me go negative. And so I did get eight points. That's 12 and a half practices that I would need to get back to the starting or the second stringer. And that's only because one of my last carries was the longest one I had in this entire session here, up until this point anyway. And so it is just too hard to make progress because touchdowns don't happen enough in practice mode. It's not that far to go down the field, 35 yards, where the defenses play good, and it's hard to score touchdowns in practice mode. It has been. I mean, I didn't really get any when I played back on last year's game. I would get my progress up by getting yards consistently, getting first downs, and the occasional touchdown would help me out. But you can see here, losing yards, minus 20 points. Go back to square one and try again. You basically can't lose any yards. Luckily, here 
here, I did get a touchdown the first time. I wanted to see how many points it would give me. And so you can see here, plus 12 for the touchdown, plus 8 for yards gained. That means a 35-yard touchdown is worth as many points positive as any play is negative. How does that make sense? It doesn't, and I don't know why it's in the game, and that's why I've been angry. I can understand the glitch, but this entire issue here is just mathematical and points-based. It is something you can fix just by typing in a new number for a new reward. But I had one idea, guys. I had one idea, and know what? It worked. I went with Marcus Lattimore, I entered this on varsity difficulty, and then I changed the gameplay to Heisman. And so what that does is when you first get into the mode, you pick your, your level of difficulty. It'll set the gameplay to that, and it will also set your scoring to that. Now the scoring is kind of just an arbitrary number that's out in space somewhere, and that's going to affect how many points you get every time you get a touchdown, lose a yard, or whatnot. But, when I went and changed the difficulty, all that did is change the gameplay. So I was playing on Heisman difficulty with Varsity scoring, and that allowed me here to actually make some realistic progress. 50 points for touchdown, 35 points for yards. Now I'm only worried about what that would mean if I was like a third stringer. Would I immediately go up to like a second stringer right away and become a starter too quickly? That's what I'm worried about. I should test it a little bit further, but that is the only way around this entire issue I have seen. And all I did was try to think about the programming a little bit and think about how I could work around the game having the scoring set a certain way because I knew it would be different on a different difficulty and I found a way around it. The scoring stays the same, it depends on what you choose right away, and then you can choose your gameplay. And so that's your work around I guess for now guys. I want to start my Road to Glory series but honestly right now it's way too iffy and I, I want my series to be good, I don't want to start them and be all angry about them and then just... I don't have to restart them or something like that, and so I'm kind of putting them on hold right now, and I'm hoping I can start them soon, but I had to make a video talking about Road to Glory, guys. It is very frustrating right now, and it is riddled with some issues with Coach Trust, especially if you want to play on a difficulty other than the two easy ones. And so, anyways, guys, please leave a like on the video and help people find this so they can know about the Road to Glory issues, and so the word gets out that there are issues that people are angry about. So tweet this at EA, link it on Twitter, like the video, favorite the video, and just thank you guys for watching. Leave comments in the comment section of what you think about this entire ordeal and what I had to say about it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.